Well, hey there, Internet. Hi. I'm Rika, and here with me is Nathan. Hello. We're here to show you today <laughs> how to use seeds in Nuclear Throne. Which, uh, you know, this is like something we use all the time uh, in our series Nuclear Throne Wars, where we play side-by-side uh, -side runs and see who can get farther. Um, so if you want to, like, play with us while we do that, that's basically what this video is for, or, or just if you want to use seeds in general. But Yeah, basically, we want you guys to help and play along with us, and if you find a cool seed, tell it to us, or if you want to play our seeds that we play, you can just plug it in into your game and see how far you can make it, and then send us a screenshot or a video or something showing your awesome run and how you totally destroyed us in Nuclear Throne <laughs> <laughs> and got farther than we ever could. So here's what it is. You're basically going to create like a seed is basically like something for the game to, instead of randomly generate levels all the time, it's just going to basically stick to one generation of the entire level system. So when you start it and every time you restart it, you will continue to go back to that same set of levels all the way through the game. Basically, here's how you do it. Basically, all you gotta do is create a file. I'll show you on my, uh, my screen here. So this is uh, strictly Windows right now. Basically where you go is users, Okay, so you're in your C drive where like your operating system is stored. Okay, uh, you go to users and then find your username. Mine is Rika. And then you go to app data. App data uh, is a hidden folder. So if you don't know how to reveal hidden folders, it's in your folder options. Here, I'll show you how to do it. What the heck? I'll just show you. Because <laughs> if, that's, if that's a hurdle, then you're gonna be mad at me if I don't show you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here you go. So you go to file floor, file full, wow, file explorer options, go to view, and then find this little thing that says show hidden files, folders, and drives. This is on PC only, by the way. I already have it clicked, so I'm good to go. So then going back to your user folder, you see the app data folder right here that's kind of looking like a little see through. That's because it was hidden before, and you're so, you're so good and secret. You're you a little know. sleuth. You just a little sleuth, you know how to get in there. So open up your app data. Uh, you're gonna go to local, this top one here, and you're gonna look for nuclear throne. There it is. Go into nuclear throne. And right now all you'll see is a bunch of save files, nuclear throne .save. And uh, if you're into save editing, that's how you edit the saves. I don't know a ton about that, but here you go. Basically what you need to do is create, I'm gonna create it from scratch for you so you can see how to do it. You're gonna go to new and create a text document. So it'll bring up new text document.txt. You're gonna name that text document seed.txt. Cool. Hit that and then open up seed. And all you gotta do in seed.txt, wow, this window's huge. I'm gonna shrink this down for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all you're gonna do in seed.txt is type a number, any number, whatever you feel like putting in. So, I don't know, Nathan, give me a number. Uh, 42. 42, all right, there you go. So c.txt, 42. All you gotta do now is go to save and close that file, and then open Nuclear Throne. This is, ex this is the exciting part. Okay, so then when you load up Nuclear Throne, uh, anytime you start a run now, you should be able to load up the same seed over and over. And you can tell this, by basically like where you are right now, basically how this looks. If you would hit escape and then hit R to restart or just hit the retry button, you get back to the same area and it looks exactly the same. Another way you can double check this is try to dodge all these creatures and run towards the weapons chest. And if it's the same weapon every time, then you know you've done it right. Only time that'll be different is if you choose robot. And then if you choose robot, it'll be a different item because he gets a totally different um, set of weapons to generate. So there it is again, that same weapon. Hooray! Woo! And there you go. That's how to do seeds. If you ever want to like uh, like undo it, you just you just type no seed. Usually. Oh right! And, yeah. <laughs> Good call. If you don't, if you want to stop using seeds and go back to the original like randomly generated level all over again, if you're looking on my screen still. You go back to your seed.txt and just name it whatever you 
want to name it that isn't seed.txt. The program, the game looks for seed.txt. If there isn't one in existence, it'll just skip that step and go back to its normal uh, generation stuff. So yeah, that's what I do is I name my file no seed.txt. So I know that there's gonna be no seed that it'll pull from every time. And that's that's as easy it is, as it is. It's just that easy. So uh, seed.txt or no seed.txt. And then as you see here, when you reload the game again, once you've set it back to no seed.txt, it'll be back to its normally randomly generated fun. Oh, uh, if you are on a Mac, the, the uh, location that you're gonna put your seed.txt file is library, application, support, and then com.vlambeer.nuclearthrone. I'm gonna put that on the screen so you don't have to remember me saying it. And then also for if you're a Linux user, you're just gonna go to your home folder, then .config file, uh, folder, then nuclear throne. Just drop your seed.txt file right in that folder and you'll be good to go. Heck yeah. So now you can play any seed you want or the seeds that we play in Nuclear Throne Wars. You're a part of the action. You're a part of the action, which uh, <laughs> I just wanna say there's a, there's a pretty goofy Nuclear Throne Wars coming up on the channel. So you should stay tuned for that because it's actually, I, I'm actually testing it right now and it is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, so. We're excited. Stay tuned for more Nuclear Throne Wars. Woo! All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching this video. Mario. Mario. Right. It's a Mario. Sorry, Mario. That's not even half your voice. We're so, we're so sorry, Mario. <laughs> we're, we're so sorry, Mario. We are so sorry. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Stay tuned for Nuclear Throne Wars. Woo!